Hey, how's it going? My name is Hasiya Muhammad, and I am a teaching artist with the New Victory Theater. I'm here in my living room in Uptown Manhattan, and I want to say welcome to Arts Break. Today, I got something really fun planned for you all. It's a circus skill that you might not always think about, but it's really cool once you get it, and that is object balancing. All right, object balancing. You're going to need two things. One, an object to balance. This is my balancing pole. I recommend something everyone has in their homes, brooms, and mops. They work great for this. Second thing you're going to need is a cleared out space. Maybe you can get your mom and dad to help you. So once you've got your object in a clear space, we're going to begin by balancing on our hand. So place one end of the object into the palm of your hand. If you're using a broom or a mop, make sure it's the handle and the heavy end is at the top. Now, in order for balancing to occur, we have to do two things sort of at the same time. One, we watch the top of the object to make sure it's still straight up and down. Two, as we watch the top, we adjust the base. So if you see me, I'm moving my hand to adjust as I'm watching the top. So no matter which way it falls, I know how to match it with my hand. Even when I seem like I'm really still, there's little micro movements happening. So as you first begin, if it's wobbling a lot and you're having to do a lot of moving, that's totally fine. Yeah, that's actually the best way to learn. Once you've done it on one side, probably you're gonna start on your dominant side. Give it a try on your non-dominant side. Again, two things simultaneously. I'm watching the top of the object and I'm moving my hand at the bottom to balance. And that's sort of all there is to it. It takes a lot of practice, but that's it. All right, once you've become a pro at balancing on your hand, you can try out a few other bonus variations. So what I like to do is I try balancing on different parts of my body, yeah? So maybe an elbow, or maybe a foot. Regardless of where you choose, the principles stay the same. You watch the top and counterbalance with the base at the bottom. Something else you can try is changing levels. So maybe you can take a knee. Yeah? Feel free to play around. Try out different variations. We'd love to see what you got. Thank you so much for joining me for Arts Break today. Hope you had a lot of fun. I know I did. Bye for now.